Hey, it's the Empire. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon for more videos. Be taking over. Let's go, champ. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button right now. Let's go. Hey, it's the Empire. Geoboxing Empire. Back to boxing. Now, man, wild stuff, man. <sighs> you know, I remember when Deontay Wilder watched and witnessed Andy Ruiz beat Anthony Joshua. And, man, it was, it was a shocker. Right, a lot of people thought they counted Anthony Joshua. They said he can't be Andy Ruiz too. And when Anthony Joshua fought Andy Ruiz too, he boxed him. It was a complete boxing lesson for twelve rounds. And Deontay Wilder, man, he had some choice words for Anthony Joshua. Man, he said that you know that was a boring fight. Uh, he was scared to engage Andy Ruiz, and he boxed him, and it was a boring fight. And you know he's not the same guy anymore. Fast forward to twenty twenty. <laughs> Deontay Wilder fights Tyson Fury and he gets stopped. Not only does he get stopped, he gets stopped in the same round Tyson Fury got stopped. I mean, uh, uh, Anthony Joshua got stopped in when he fought Andy Reese, right? Andy Reese stopped Anthony Joshua in round seven. And when Deontay Wilder got stopped by Tyson Fury, he was in round seven. Now, man, I think that's karma, man. That, that was uh, sort of ironic that both the dominant heavyweight champions uh, ended up getting stopped in big upsets. Uh, because Tyson Fury was an underdog when he fought Deontay Wilder, and uh, Andy Ruiz was definitely a huge underdog when he fought Andy Ruiz. They both got stopped in round seven. Well, I, th I just think that's hilarious. You know, these people's chins are interchangeable. Interchangeable. But that being said, man, you know, the ironic thing is, is Deontay Wilder going to come forward in a second Anthony uh, Deont Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury trilogy fight? In a third fight, is he going to box more or is he going to come forward more? And my presumption is he's going to box. He's not going to try to fight Tyson Fury and, and, and come forward because Tyson Fury showed in a second fight, if it's an inside fight, Tyson Fury is just really good at He's too good at fighting an inside, right? Deontay Wilder's best chance in this fight is staying on his back foot and staying at a distance so he can land that long right hand of, of his. And I, I think that's really ironic that Deontay Wilder talked about not engaging a, a fighter when in this fight, this third fight coming up, he's most likely, his only chance really is to make sure Tyson Fury doesn't get an insight on him, right? So, you know, I think that's extremely ironic, and I think it's <laughs> it's sort of funny how Deontay Wilder criticized Anthony Joshua about boxing and, and, and being on the outside when he's going to have to do the same thing on this uh, Tyson Fury fight. Now, I could be wrong. Ty, uh, Deontay Wilder could just try to run through Tyson Fury, but I really doubt that he would just come in reckless against him because... Tyson Fury is a boxer. He's a counterpuncher, and he can move really well. So it'll be it'll be it'll be dangerous either way. But uh, Deontay Wilder's best game plan for this fight is most likely trying to remain at a far distance from Tyson Fury and try to hit him with the long straight right. And he really doesn't need to try to knock out Tyson Fury. He he can just let it come to him naturally because he hits hard enough for that to happen. Right? He just can't get into a, a a situation where Tyson Fury is walking him down. You know, he actually actually moved more. Uh, in his second fight, um, Tyson Fury was really cutting the ring off Deontay Wilder, and he was just getting hit with basically every hit. You know, uh, Deontay Wilder was trying to be like Floyd Mayweather on the ropes and try to, you know, lean to the side and and do all this weird movement uh, for his defense instead of just moving out the way. You know, that's what got him caught in the first knockdown. He got hit. Uh, Tyson Fury threw like a straight right and hit him in the weird part of his head it was almost like the, it was almost back of his head him in a weird part of his head because Deontay Wilder was bending at his waist and all that stuff I mean Deontay Wilder is not some defensive genius and plus he was doing it with his hands down which is even more dumb so we're gonna see how this whole thing plays out man will Deontay Wilder walk Tyson Fury down or will he box I'm going with a box because if you actually look with Deontay Wilder's record is and you look at how he boxes you know it, most of his knockouts are from Deontay Wilder boxing, he's not just running at you, knocking you out like that. Even uh, the only the only time I ever seen Deontay Wilder really be aggressive to knock someone out really quickly was the Bermain Stavern two fight. That was the only fight where he actually just you know came forward and just went at the guy. But even then, he didn't walk him down. He just threw a combination. You know what I mean? Which Deontay Wilder rarely does. And if he did more, if you have more, you know. Uh, He'll be a better fighter if he threw more combinations. But in uh, Berman Stavern fight, he came forward with a combination. He was throwing combinations at Berman Stavern. He didn't, like, go wild or anything, but he threw combinations at him. And then, you know, he stopped him. But, you know, that's extremely rare for Deontay Wilder. 
his biggest win highlights wins are from him boxing and boxing and boxing until he lands a straight right. He has his opponent hurt, and then Deontay Wilder finishes him off. So we're gonna see how this whole thing plays out, man. I just think it's it's just funny how you know they both got stopped in round seven. <laughs> Anthony Joshua boxes his way to regain his title. Will Deontay Wilder do the same? Most likely, yeah. Most likely, yeah. Let me know how you guys feel about it, though. Like, comment, subscribe. It's the Empire, Geo Empire. Peace.